Here are the reasons why the GT3 RS 992 generation is a terrible car in Forza Horizon 5. First of all, it has a big rear wing which you can dine off for a family of eight. And number two, it turns very well around the corners. As you can see, it's a track car and it has a DRS wing. And another reason is because it sounds like generic Porsches. All the Porsches in the game sound the same. It doesn't sound like a GT3 RS. And another reason it has red wheels and red stickers. And it has a lot of downforce. And it turns well around the corner. Okay, I'm joking. I know people will click on the video because I, I want to say bad things about the GT3. But this is not a GT3 hating video. Yeah, you might get angry saying that I clickbait at you but nah you're the one who clicked on the negative video because you wanted to hear negativity and you're gonna get positivity in this video so just subscribe because i make genuine videos so subscribe this is not a hating channel okay let's go ahead and see what the gt2 rs not the gt2 the gt3 rs has for us in forza horizon 5 this is the newly added car oh i'm so excited about this one we have been asking for this car for the longest time we even thought it would come that time when the developers added race cars but no they didn't add the car they just waited until now because it's a sponsor because i think porsche is celebrating 50 years so that's why the cars are in the game so we must thank porsche <laughs> Yeah, so let's check out this Porsche and see how it does in Forza Horizon 5. Okay, let's start with the race first. I don't know how this car is going to be in Forza Horizon 5, but in real life, this car is amazing. I'll tell you fun facts about the car once we are in the race. I mean, personally, with the looks, I prefer the GT3. The GT3 R is a little bit extreme. Look at the big wing. Ah, this one is a it's too much with the aero and everything but it is a cool car you can't deny that it has broken records in the number great i don't know how much i don't know the facts about it okay the first fun fact about this car is that is the aerodynamic it has a massive rear wing with a swan neck with drs which stands for drag reduction system so you can see as i'm going so what the hell is going on what the hell is going on as i'm going in a straight line you see when i'm braking the wing goes up but when i'm in a straight line to pick up straight line speed just look at okay this this, this road don't have a lot of a lot of straight so uh, i don't know how i can demonstrate the drs but basically if you know f1 you know what how a drs work on the straights it reduced drag on the corners and then downforce comes that's why you use the wing for downforce is it working right now i think it's working is it working okay i think it's working right now you just can't see it and this car fun fact number two this car produced 902 pounds of downforce at 177 miles per hour so it means now we are not producing the horsepower because <laughs> we are doing low speed oh, we are doing low speed oh that's the gt2 rs at the front okay i'm drifting the gc3 about the noble green time that the time that i said i didn't know so this car basically did six minutes 49 seconds it was one of the fastest naturally aspirated engine cars to ever left the noble green yeah i know you might say the, the gt black series maybe i think it's faster than this car but it, that car is not a natural aspirated it has two turbos so it's turbocharged this car is not turbocharged and it has around 500 horsepower this car is so cool and it's made of oh, uh, and it's made out of carbon fiber and it's made out of carbon fiber so i think i forgot the part where there's a part where it's only uh the only part where there's metal i forgot where the part is but this car is made out of carbon fiber even the doors are carbon fiber yeah i don't know if i gave a good fun fact but yeah let's go ahead and see how this car is with upgrades and everything i'm not even gonna bother taking it drag racing because i know ah useless <laughs> <laughs> this is a track car i'll be i'll be a dumbass to take it um drag racing but it wouldn't be a dumb decision to take it rally racing i want to see how the drs performs rally racing so let's convert this car into a rally car uh, no, good idea i don't think it's a good idea but let's 
just do it for the fun and we have rally suspension oh they even gave us drift suspension even though we already weigh around three thousand pounds let's go to 2000 pounds let me put on some off-road tires and then we go there off-road okay let me just put on rally tires i don't trust off-road tires and let's increase the width width of the car and some wheel spaces so we can grip 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 what about the engine swaps how many wow there's a lot a four liter flat six a three liter flat six twin turbo i think that's from the turbo s if i'm not mistaken and we have a four liter v8 engine from the 918 spider a racing v12 a 3.8 flat six twin turbo no this wait okay this is from the turbo s if i'm not mistaken oh this one is from the turbo s i don't know that we gotta go with the shirai twin turbo it just for the memes just to go rally racing only that for that i'll remove the turbos for the last race okay let's ah uh, not let me not put on table <laughs> not table leg anti-leg and put on spot exhaust and let's go rally racing <laughs> even though the nine um the 911 dakai it's coming but we want to see how the drs performs in a rally race so yep oh let me check if this car already have has oh it already has paint jobs look at that <laughs> people are fast people are very very fast they already made some liveries already wow wow but it's not complicated ones it's just generic ones okay let's see the colors of the car um oh you can remove the stickers and put them back with the red one and wow Oh, you can even remove oh those are stickers they are not real badges lightweight weight savings <laughs> not lightweight weight saving oh i like this one uh should we go with this one no oh i like this one i like this one okay many of them you can remove the stickers but i think we want to put them on let's put uh, put them on okay the wheels are fine like this can we paint the wing oh yes we can can. let's let's just leave it red even though it looks funny i don't care i don't care we are going rally racing by the way i know rally cars have aero so i want to see how the drs perform oh look at that rally cars this is definitely a bad idea oh i forgot to make it all wheel drive but okay it's fine it's fine let's go ahead with our rear wheel drive build i didn't think that through oh we are racing old cars <laughs> look at that Old cars, old cars, old cars. Oh, look at that. Oh, a Ferrari. Okay. A 488 Pista. Come on, don't disappoint me, DRS. Yo, you can see the car is even planted, even though it's off road. I didn't expect that. Can it drift? Can it drift? Can it drift? Yes, it can around the corners. It's even planted. Like, it's planted on the ground. I expected it to. You remember the. There's a video I did with the Lamborghini STO and the Lamborghini STO and that thing, what is it called? The A12 super fast. Those cars were all over the place, wheel spinning. Like, ah, uh, they were bad. They were bad, bad. Ah, I'm even eating everything. Uh, I'm not racing so good. But overall, it's performing better than the A12 super fast and the Hurricane STO. It wants to be planted on the on the ground but i am losing but what matters is how it performs i think if i put on all wheel drive yeah that's when i would dominate but uh right now i'm not gonna dominate because i didn't put on the correct drive train uh, and i'm focusing on commenting so <laughs> it's very hard it's very 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 hard to concentrate and drive at the same time especially when it's a rear wheel drive car off-roading with a big wing which is not meant for off-roading at all but here we are off-roading a 911 gt3 rs one of the best cars in the world if you open tiktok you'll see a whole bunch of people saying this car is overrated the most overrated car not in my books i don't think this car is overrated the only people who will say it's overrated is those people who don't even take their cars to the track. I don't have a car, but I think if I had a car, I would take it to the track. I think I would. So I think it's people who don't even care about going to the track. The people who will say uh, overrated. Overall, I think it's a good rally car. 
I'm not gonna finish the race because I am losing. Let's take this car on its natural habitant. I didn't even check the, the visual customization because I already know we are not gonna have customization. Why did I even bother? There is no way we're gonna get customization in this game. Okay, let's just put on um the biggest engine swap. I think it's gonna be which one? This one, the flat six, the twin turbo flat six. Um okay, maybe the 918 spider engine. Okay, let's get the hybrid car. Let's see how we are hybrid breed a gt2 rs will behave and then oh man it's already okay let me just max out everything and see if it will become op or not because i want to see if the gt3 rs will be an extreme track toy or ah, it will be just a normal generic Porsche added to the game. I know it's bad what I'm doing, but let's just do it for the sake of horsepower. <laughs> Even though the car is getting worse and worse. Oh man. Oh man. The handling. Oh man. I don't think this is a good idea. I don't think this is a good idea. I don't want to ruin the car. I don't want to ruin the car. Did it become? Did it come as in S2 class? okay let's go back on it on its stock form i want to do the last race okay let me just do it on its stock form i want to see how the car performs because i didn't see because i was doing fun facts and taking it off road now let's take it to the road and see how it performs without any upgrades i don't like upgrading the car by the way it's already perfect yeah i said it already perfect not underrated perfect car even though i prefer the table s i can't wait to see that car when it comes out so subscribe to see when that car comes out i'll do a video on it also which one would be perfect i think i think let's do pike's peak <laughs> I think let's do the, the 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 mountain one. I think it will be a good one. That one, the mountain one. We have twisting road. Yeah, that will be the perfect road to test out this car. I don't wanna do crazy builds, so let's just go with the flow. And it is recommended. 518 horsepower. That's good because the car doesn't weigh anything. <laughs> it weighs around 1.7 kg. I think 1.7 tons. It's curb weight. I think curb weight means dry weight without the liquid in the driver yeah oh let's go what type of cars are in this race okay they're putting us with donut media's car i see the lotus oh the what is this the mark e why didn't they put me with the gt black series and the other cars i want to see how oh they even put me against the gt2 rs but the old one why is the gt oh the pac mono oh even the the 488 pista is here oh i want to do a clean race as you can see the drs is taking its form so far so good it's performing very well it's what i expected it to be to take the corners like a gt3 rs ah like a tracker <laughs> okay that's not how you do it but this is how you do it yes around the corners even though i'm not catching up to the other car why am i going off road okay talking while driving in the game very difficult okay let's go let's go let's go let's catch up to this ah! <laughs> no sometimes i lose control of the car i should have caught up right there on that corner i think this is the gt2 r if i'm not mistaken the 997 is it the 997 oh you can see the drs is working now and and oh let's go i don't think this car sounds like the other portions in the game am i going off road on the outside no on the inside no on the outside on the outside no i cannot overtake okay this is my chance and i cut the corner just to win that overtake but i managed to overtake them okay now we can focus on the driving aspect of the car not on the overtaking because trying to catch up to those cars is a little wow what is the lotus doing why are you hitting me so maybe it doesn't have straight line speed because that car is catching up so fast so fast it's catching up it's catching up okay okay oh it's easy to lose control on this car but i think it's because i'm a bad driver not because of the car i think it's because i'm a bad driver i think i should have kept this car by now let's go oh the gap is opening on the corners but on the straight lines nah they are catching up okay now we are oh it's only one car that is behind us and it's the lotus 
I know it's a lightweight car, so yeah, it might be faster than me, so yeah. Yeah, the Lotus 311, that's the car I was chasing me, so yeah. I think that's a track car, that's a track focused car. So far, so good. The car on my side is a 10 out of 10. 10. Yeah, I know I might start the video by clickbaiting, but stop feeding on the negativity on YouTube. You guys only watch videos because you are seeing negativity on the video, especially when it's about Forza Horizon 5. So I know what I say, the GT3 Arrow is bad. Some people will come on here so fast and try to click on the video to see you what i'm gonna say some people will just want to watch because they might disagree but some people ah, will just watch because they hate for the so yeah bye